Puerto Rican men or Dominican men? I like black men. Uh. <laughs> Why? What do you like about black men? Um, I like everything about them. Come on now, like, come on now. We have black Dominicans and black Puerto Ricans. You know, are you talking about black in general or are you talking about black American men? I have a problem when Dominicans who look like me, same skin complexion and everything, will come out and say, I know black. I know black. I, I Dominican. You black. You just speak Spanish. How y'all feel about that? <laughs> I love how we can see eye to eye, you feel me? How many girls is on my height, you feel me? You said Tay, right? Tay. Your name is Kyle. Pleasure to meet you. You have fun at party night tonight? Oh, but after that, I'm friends. That's all right. So you don't be going out like that anymore? I don't even do nothing. Like, I don't even do anything. You ain't losing no sex or none of that? No, I just want to be like that. All right, shit, let me get some Instagram. I'll give you a reason to come out next time, okay? I'm going to show you a good time. Oh, shit, my bad. Chuck, yeah, I'm let me get your Instagram. I'm going to give you a reason to come out next time. I know why certain content creators ask. Yeah, let me get your Instagram. The amount of people that follow you on Instagram can actually get you laid. That shit is like a bank account. God forbid you, ha you have an official blue check. And I stress the word official because some of y'all out here paying that monthly subscription fee for that blue check. I'll show you a good time. Who's your best friend? Oh, okay, like blood type shit? Yeah, we, we have different um, Okay, brothers. okay. Yeah. Well, next time y'all come out, I'm going to take oh, care of y'all. I got y'all. Exactly. Type shit. He making promises. Y'all playing promises. around tomorrow? Um, maybe. Um, sure, let me know. I got a little section at a day party over yeah, there. Yeah, and we might just get All right, for sure. All right, nice meeting you, Mama. Tay, right? He making promises. I, I... <sighs> He making promises of putting him in a section, making promises of showing him a good time. All the promises he making, I don't like that. When you're first going up to a chick, you want to get in and get out. Get the number, hit her up later. Some of y'all be too long-winded. Y'all be messing it up by doing too much talking. She don't need a summary of your autobiography. I helped you with your startup money. I helped you buy product. I helped you with your taxes. I helped you get grants for small businesses. Don't tell me what okay, I didn't help you with. Honest. Okay, you telling me all you help me with, but what the fuck I got to do with your pee? It don't work. Don't work? Okay. Coochie drop with you. What the f you want me to do? Yo, nah. <laughs> nah. I ain't gonna lie, boy. That's embarrassing. The truth hurts, but god damn, that's embarrassing. So you trying to embarrass me, but who's really embarrassed? I'll, I'm embarrassed for him. What's that white right pill? Okay. Let's try it. I can recommend it. So, is what, are you being honest right now, or are you just saying that? I'm being very honest. You know what you got? So, that bothering oh you? Oh, my. Because how can you tell a wrong man that this, like, how do you comfortably say it really ain't working or it's really not good? Like, I understand people are a grower and not a shower, but I'm a grower or a fucking shower. So, why are you saying that now? Well, shit, he wants to, shit, I'm just letting you know what it is. You ask me why I'm cheating, why I'm not loyal, shit, I'm letting you know. You wanted the answer. Yeah, I like the is this the answer? Is this what you wanted to hear? Because you obviously looking. This is the answer, right? You wanted some truth. This is the truth. The truth the same time you was asking me for money. I wanted the truth the same time you, you was laying next to me telling me about your problems you was having with your business and I was being real with you. That's what I want. Okay, in the same way I rolled over and told you about the problems in my business, I expect to roll over and get some good dick, but that ain't. Hold on. Let's go ahead and bring that back, cause because I wanted the truth the same time you was asking me for money. I wanted the truth the same time you you was laying next to me telling me about your problems you was having with your business and I was being real with you. That's what I wanted. Okay, in the same way I rolled over and told you about the problems with my business, I expect to roll over and get some good. But that ain't happening. So. What it sound like to me, my brother, and I ain't trying to play devil's advocate. But it sounded like you knew what you had going on and you was trying to make up for it by providing extra financial support. What y'all think? If you part of the Red Lobster Club, it's okay. It's all right because your taste buds work. Let me ask y'all a question. When you guys are actively out here dating, and I'm talking about the young men that are single, and you come across these different young ladies, do you actually listen to their stories. To be honest with you, you should be listening and paying attention anyway because sometimes people tell you about themselves without 
trying to tell you about themselves. I say all that to say, I've said this in a video before that I was on a nobody team. I was the assistant coach. So if you going on dates, you can feel free to tell me about the dates you went on. If you talking to this guy right here, you can feel free to tell me about this guy right here. I don't care. I was Mr. Inside Joke. I was talking to this young lady, right? She used to come down and buy cookies at the cookie spot. A friend told me that she liked me. I was like, oh, word. I went, got her number. We started talking. Now, before anything physical happened, all we used to do was just talk. All right, so she used to tell me stories about these dates that she used to go on. Now, I remember her telling me about this one young man that she really, really liked. She would show me messages that he would send her. And I'm not going to lie, my boy was very romantic. Even though I was trying to tap them cheeks, I used to be like, bro, he is boyfriend material. He's husband material. Like, why are you over here messing with me and the other f you talking to? That's hubby. And she broke it down one day and said that my boy is part of the Red Lobster Club. I've heard her say that before about somebody else. She said it twice to me about two different people. So in my mind, I don't know, bro. Your expectations might be a little high. It had me questioning myself. It had me looking at myself like, all right, I want to clap them cheeks, bro, but should I? I'm good, but I don't know if I'm what she looking for. I ain't never had no complaints. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm good, but... The way she talking, she might need a, a weapon of mass destruction. But bro, I remember. I remember her almost coming to tears about that shit. Because she really liked that. But she said she couldn't do it because he wasn't making it past the coat closet. All I'm going to say is, it don't matter how well you take care of somebody. They're not satisfied physically. They're either going to tell you the truth, go out behind your back, and get what they're looking for. This is how you going to know if this got some money, baby. Ask yourself, this got on some diamond chain. Is he buying some bottles? Does this got some real clothes on? How is he whipping? Where the whip strips? Where the whip strips and chips for real? Let me really weigh this up. Cause a nigga that got on seventy thousand, he gonna look like seventy thousand. He gonna feel like seventy thousand. You gonna see seventy thousand on this. Nigga. When you look at me, you know. Hey man, that got a couple dollars. I don't know what he got, but I know he ain't fucked up. You see what I'm saying? So it'll be a lot of with most of night chains on. When you like, it's something. Ain't adding up. You gotta understand them big ass Cubans, bro. A real Cuban and a real ice piece that's real big that artists wear, bro. That's seventy thousand. Ah, that's seventy. All right, let me let me pause this right there. The wealthiest people in the world don't wear their money. Maybe I think differently. I'm not saying my way of thinking is right, but I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't wear my money because wearing your money attracts the wrong attention. Thousand dollars. Now what you gotta ask yourself is, do this look like seventy thousand dollars? Is, he, is everything matching up to look like this? If it don't, then it's not. You know it's not. You see this watch? Yeah. This is a 41 Rolex. Anywhere it go, I can go around the world and get between forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 for this watch. Right. Wearing your money on your sleeve, wearing your money around your neck, wearing your just wearing your money, period, so strangers can see and strangers can say, oh, he got money. That attracts the wrong attention. I don't want to get robbed. Call me a punk. Call me a pussy. Whatever you want to call me, that's fine. But I don't want to get robbed. You feel what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, man, wasting your money on materialistic things is stupid. I'm not a fan of jewelry. I've never been a fan of jewelry. I associate chains with slavery. That's my honest truth. I don't wear chains because I associate it with slavery. <laughs> Somebody your boiler got them yams. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Somebody your boiler got them yams. But ma'am, people out here, whenever you at the gym hitting the heavy bags, just picture yourself in a real fight. Do what you would do in a real fight. Pace yourself. Remember, whatever you do when you're practicing, that's what you're gonna end up doing when the time really comes. So if you're training bad, you're gonna fight bad. We are 10,000 subscribers away from 100K. <laughs> I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. I literally don't even know where to start, but I'm probably going to start with the most traumatic, which my adopted dad, like, that was the most traumatic. And get this. Listen. Okay, so... When he came over, he came over to my apartment to tell me that that day. He, like, rang me up and he called me and he was like, he's like, hey, can I, like, come over and talk to you? And I was like, 
Okay, sure. Had a gut feeling. Think that I'm crazy? Swear to God. Had a gut feeling. Get off the phone with him. I'm anticipating his arrival. I'm like peeping through the blinds. I'm just, I have this gut feeling. I'm sick to my stomach. Then I hear, uh, like I go sit down. Hear the car door slam. Go look out the window. See him walking up. I know what the f*** he's going to say. I know what he's going to say. And you're like, oh, how'd you know what he was going to say? Because he did weird my entire life and I gaslit myself into thinking that maybe it wasn't weird because I didn't have a dad so I didn't know what that relationship was really like okay so I lived on the second story he had to walk up two flights of stairs knocked on my door I'm sweating like my anxiety like is so bad I let him in he sit he sits down on one couch well he's pacing a little bit sits down on one couch I'm sitting down on the other couch and he's crying and I To think of, my adopted dad was born in the 60s. He was a country guy. He was like, you know how guys from the 60s are, how old dudes from the 60s are. So, like, I think I maybe saw him cry, like, once ever. So, I thought he was having a mental breakdown, and he couldn't even speak. And I was like, say it. I was like, just say it. Say what you're going to say. Like, almost coursing it out of him because I was afraid that he wasn't going to say it, and I wanted to know what he was going to say i really mm-hmm. should have recorded it but how do y'all feel about the foster care certain kids do need to be taken away from blood relatives i actually just found out about a situation but i, I don't want to talk about it on youtube but certain kids do need to be taken away from blood relatives but at the same time man finding a good family in the foster care system is a gamble he says he says laura I'm in love with you. Look at me dead in the eyes with tears rolling down his fucking face. Knowing me, literally, I'm going to have to show a picture of me whenever I was six years old. But I was like, he's known me since I was like as tall as my knee. He's like, Laura, I'm in love with you. And I was like, oh, I love you too. Uh, And he's like, no, I mean, I'm in love, in love with you. Like, I would love to marry you. Oh. I'm telling you. Oh. I'm freaking the Whoa! Whoa! I should have just read this because I wouldn't have been as surprised as I am right now. Story time of my adopted dad telling me he's in love with me. I should have just read that from before. That's that's my fault. But what kind of Jerry Springer shit is that? Here, but it is also made clarification on everything that it has happened throughout my time knowing him since I was six years old. Um, I blacked out after that. Blacked the fuck out. I remember him asking me, because I live like five or six blocks away from my childhood home that I grew up in. Him asking me to dinner because um, it was the weekend. They were a horrible family, but one thing that they generally did was like Sunday dinners or whatever. Um, so he asked me for to dinner. And I'm sure I said, like, yeah, or something like that. And then he walked out of my house, and I locked every lock on that door. And I went into my bedroom, and I locked that door, and I hid under my blankets. And I sobbed my eyes out. I was, like, hyperventilating. I was, like, freaking out. I was in there for over an hour before I was able to, like, do anything else than that. And I texted my sister. At the time, I was married to a man. But anyway, I texted my ex-husband, um, and I was like... Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was riding with you till you threw up on your ex-husband. What was that about? Now I got to do my research and find her page, because now I want to hear the ex-husband story. Like, you're not going to believe this. If you don't believe this, I'm going to leave you because this is up so i texted him everything and before i gave him a chance to even read it or respond i was like no this i need to talk to somebody so i call him and i tell him every single detail mind you my ex-husband was not a good man either um that's another story I, equally as tra- but anyway he, i was on the phone with him and he was just like He's like, Laura, you must be confused. Like, imagine a man sticking up for another 
fucked up man, but he's like, Laura, you have to be confused. There's got to be some, and he knows my history with these people and my adopted dad, but he's literally like, no, you're confused. There's no way. I hang up. I hang up on him. I call the most important person in my world, which is my little sister. Um, and I tell her and she's freaking the fuck out too, because she has fucked up experiences. <sighs> Not gonna lie, that was a lot, but things like that do happen. I remember seeing a story on Facebook where this young lady got married to her stepfather. As soon as she got old enough, I want to say she was like 21, 22. This man was in his 40s. I just feel as though that's just disgusting because to me, he was grooming her. To me, he he has been grooming her since she was a little girl. And in this situation, I believe that the things that she said she thought were normal because she didn't have a dad was him grooming her. You got to be careful out here who you leave your kids with, man. As a father of a young boy, I'm very particular about who I leave my son with. But sometimes even even that, man, you might put your trust in the wrong person and you just don't know what's been happening to your child behind your back. It's a lot of grown adults coming out and exposing the fact that they were touched by a family member. Okay, so here's the before. You know, um, it's it's nothing major. It's giving caucasity and lack of acidity per my ancestors, and that, that's that's okay. Out here built like an iPhone. Um, <laughs> you know, but, but like I said, I... I it's the, it's the thought that counts because I tell her every day that she's sick. And inside, maybe not on the outside, but on the inside of her soul, it, it, that's, that is her truth. Okay, so here is, here is before. <laughs> and here's after. And, you know, it's, real, it's not actually not that big of a difference. Uh, really? Just, you know, out here with Fatty LaBelle. Just, just out here with it, packing a rump roast. <laughs> Um, it's, it's not that big of a deal, you know, um, <laughs> I just, honestly, honestly, um, it's not even that different from mine, you know what I'm saying? It's just what like, did she put back to you? Yeah, she's a little, she's bubble, she's, she's bubbling, she, she is bubbling, um, maybe mine doesn't bubble like that, but... I think I've had enough. I just, you literally could, I couldn't function like this. I just couldn't function with all this. God just knew. Thank you. Okay. She said, I couldn't function with all this. God just knew. That statement sounds familiar. Let me go ahead and have a heart to heart with y'all. All my friends have heard it. My co-workers have heard it. The Lord knew not to bless me with height. I'm telling you, now that I don't sleep. You know, I'm five six, but hey. <laughs> all right. Hey now. Hey now. That's all I'm gonna say. Bro, I'm telling you, if I was over six feet, I would have been in the league. I'm I'm gonna keep it a hundred, man. If I was six two, six three. I'll be on somebody's NBA roster right now. That's the first thing I'm going to say. I would have been on somebody's NBA roster. All right? Now, the other thing I'm going to say. Now, I ain't going to say it. Because I had footsteps upstairs. <laughs> I don't want them type of problems. Denaya! Denaya! Is that you? What you doing? Oh, come down here right quick, please. Danny. Hello, wife. Hi, husband. How you doing? I'm a little tired, but I'm well. Oh, come say hi. You don't gotta stay too long. I just, you know. They're my beautiful wife, y'all. Hi. Hello. I was just telling them that if I was over six feet, I would have been in the league. Okay, baby. Why are you looking like? Why your face look like that just now? I said okay. Right? I would have been in the league, right? Anything what the fuck? What do you mean? Anything is possible. I feel like, was you really sh shooting in the gym like that, though? Was I really shooting in the gym like what? I mean, I 
I know you played you played basketball on the weekend, but like, was you really like committed? Like how you how you be training like you about to become a boxer? You never was like that with basketball. You did it as a pastime. You didn't do it as a passion. Then I'm nice. I didn't, I didn't say you weren't. Nah. Oh my god. Nah. Fuck that. I I brought you down here. Then I'm nice. I never said you weren't. No, nice. you no 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 no. No. That's not what no. I said. Those words did no. not come out my mind. No, I don't like that. So you don't think I would have been in the league? I do think you would have been in the nah, league. Nah, don't, don't switch it up now. What? You don't think I would have been in the league if I was over six? Yes. Why are you looking away? Because it's like, I'm just saying, when you play basketball, it was like for fun. I never seen you really like just go at it. Because I, like, na- I was naturally player. gifted. Oh. Yeah. You heard of Steph Curry? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was shooting like that before Steph Curry, you know what I'm saying? I do remember you with that book that Femi gave you with the hops. And... Yeah, that, you know, I couldn't dunk or nothing, but I was clapping backboard. You were clapping backboard? Yeah, I, yeah. Okay. I don't feel that look. You know what? <laughs> Get out. I'm. Uh, <laughs> Summon 